uh, what we need to do basically we need to cap this right we need to cap this guy when we cap this we are going to have everything is closed but what we want to do we want to put the height of the buildings on top of each building or in, on each mass right to do so we need to extract the information of this top surface and how we can do that if we deconstruct this surface so if we go to surface and deconstruct my surface what i'll be doing is i can take out all these surfaces right all these surfaces and each surface if we take a look at their areas has an area right and based on their area points or centroids we have a different values on xyz coordinates and if i sort these surfaces based on their midpoints or their centroids z coordinate i would have the top parts right top surfaces and i can use that top surface as my label point so if i deconstruct this point and if i sort this surface lists sort lists by using z value and use a surface here just to have a connection okay. and if I grab a list item what I'll be seeing is the surface that is on the below right you see that but we want the top one so we can put the index as minus one which will select the latest the last item of each list if I preview this off you see what I'm having is the cap views only and if I grab the area again of these points and then if I move down those points on Z direction like three meters for each I don't know those can be my locations for the tag so if I go back here group this scribble and then to group sorting the faces to put tags and group this. say tag location and then what I can do is I can grab a tag 3d this is this time let's use yz coordinate location and for the text I can use the heights of this is my height values right so I can grab this new number here and take it here copy and paste another one so that I will have a easier understanding of this text put the text in I can use a oh that oh okay we had a small problem because as you see, when we explode this tree or deconstruct that boxes, each box will have their own branch or list. And what I'm trying to do now, I'm trying to uh, put all the heights for every single box and it will take for a couple of minutes. Hopefully it doesn't freeze and closes itself. But let me pause here for a second and then I'll come back with, a, with an explanation. So we're back again. Uh, it seems I am having a lot of text on top of each point. The problem is we are having YZ planes and on like, let's say every single list here, I am putting 434 tags on top of those planes. So, there are both two ways to proceed with this. If I grab this, guys, and if I connect this here, 
things will get really things will get slower and obviously the one the one thing that you want to do is concatenate actually concatenate why I can't I concatenate and this is going to be my fragment B I'll be say building height completely up to you. I mean you can use both but yeah group this group this swatch as a white color size can be obviously you can preview this well off size can be I don't know like Put 15, but it's gonna be too large. I assume. yeah. The building guide. Why don't we open up the buildings again? So yeah, for each building we have this information. And this might be a bit large. Still, we can make this location middle center. Size can be really 0 0.5 maybe. Going down one tops. And you see I put almost on every building its height. And on top of that, what I can do is I can obviously like after group this I can put a scroll building can't write today write text and put that in and put it in here all righty so the next thing i can do is i can color this right uh, what I can do here is basically grab the heights or grab this y z, z vector based on sorry based on this number I can grab um, color gradient this is my okay why don't we do something as such why don't we do something I don't know this take this out this in, this in. and we can go to math bound if I grab the minimum and maximum heights here by using the bound component it shows me the minimum and the maximum height start is my start end is my end this is my parameter and if I Create the preview, custom preview, connect this over here, preview this off, preview this off, sorry, preview that on actually. And you see oh, what is happening? Yeah, I connect the domain. So, yeah, this is not a good grading. Uh, why don't we have something as such? I don't know. The ready it becomes the longer the building is, the yeah greener the building becomes. It's larger or wider but shorter building. So why don't we group this as what? Let's grab a B wrap here. Connect it at this to group and connect this here. 
that I will have to control my geometry and I can pull out a scribble and say color visualization and add that to group. Obviously, uh, this is what we have done here with the colors, and I can change it to greenish. So I always know. Uh, let's preview this off. And that's pretty much it in this video. In the next one, I'll be talking about how we can. Okay, these are the colors, but how we can put the floors on this equation.